Okay, this is Zach with uh, Earthship Services, and we're taking a look at the, I'm not even sure how you pronounce that, but it's probably Ethmez or something. Um, this is a uh, thermometer alarm. Um, because of the cold weather here, some people have uh, tankless hot water heaters, the old style, uh, Bosch, Aquastar, typically, that... Um, in certain conditions, cold air will be pulled down through the vent over the heat exchanger of the Bosch Aquastars and cause the heat exchanger to freeze and then burst, which causes uh, water all over the place. Um, now this is, uh, apparently they make this for fridges, but I think it can also work um, for detecting uh, air that's too cold um, for a uh, Bosch Aquasar. And also, of course, this is a good uh, thing to have in your freezer. You have a freezer alarm so you can um, tell if there's something going wrong with your freezer. It'll, um, the, if the temperature goes too high, then it'll set the alarm. So, so right now we're sitting at um, minus 3.8. So right now the alarm is set for 7. So if I hit that and I set the, turn it down to say minus, uh, let's say five, for example. And there's the alarm. Okay, it's because we're at minus 3.8 and not minus five. Okay, now what you can do is, um, that's your high alarm. So if we go to low alarm, we can take this one and we could set it to, actually we could probably go around the other way. Um, okay, so we could set it at say 40, degrees and then if the temperature is below 40 that should set off the alarm so okay so there's your there's your thing okay and then um, so that should work so because you're at minus three and the high the high alarm or the low alarm went off that time so this should work to protect uh, tankless water heaters and to um, protect frozen food. And I'll have the link to the, uh, to the device on Amazon. Uh, I'll have that in a link below. And uh, the one thing that I kind of don't like is that if you monkey with this thing a little bit, uh, sometimes it'll turn the it'll turn the power off, but I can't demonstrate it now. Um, so maybe it was just, it just needed to be uh, jiggled around a few times and then, um, but as long as it stays powered up, it will remember those settings. But if you take the battery out, uh, it will forget its settings or for, for some reason it gets disturbed or, or you knock it so if the contacts on the battery go out, it will forget its settings. Um, so that's kind of a not so good thing. Okay, that concludes this video.